Joining us with more news from the state capitol is E Capital News Director Sean Ashley. Sean, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome. Now, we've heard uh, this before, but Secretary of State James Williamson is repeating his statements about whether or not the petition drive to bring recreational cannabis to Oklahoma will get on the November ballot. Uh, are his timelines for processing these petitions accurate? They certainly seem to be. State law requires a 70-day period from when the governor calls an election or puts a measure on a ballot until that election is held. So if you start working backwards from November 6th, the date of the general election, the governor would have to say that that proposal would go on the ballot August 27th. But those petitions haven't even been turned in yet. And after those petitions are turned in, then there is the process of counting those signatures, having them verified by the Supreme Court, and then a 10-day publishing period. Mm. So if they turn them in by the deadline of August 8th, you've probably eaten up all those days by the time you get to August 27th, and you haven't even dealt with potential lawsuits. So it seems very unlikely that they will be able to get this on the November ballot. Uh. Now, legislative leaders have responded to Ethics Commission uh, lawsuit over funding and had some harsh words for the commission. What's the latest? That's correct. Back in June, the Ethics Commission filed law a lawsuit against the governor and legislative leaders and some other officials saying that their appropriations were essentially unconstitutional because they were not enough to perform the duties of the office. In their response to this lawsuit, legislative leaders say that the agency is acting like a rogue agency, disregarding some agency requirements by the Office of Management and Enterprise Services, and essentially going off and wanting to operate on its own. Uh, they urge the Supreme Court not to take up the case, saying that this is just a quintessential battle over funding levels, and that will be heard by a Supreme Court referee on later in the week. State Senator Ron Sharp wants to make some changes to the school funding formula. Uh, it's a very complicated process to understand. What does he want to accomplish with that? Yes, Senator Sharp's interim study request is one of more than 70 that were approved in the House and the Senate. And this would look at the way in particular that charter schools are funded in relation to all other schools on the funding formula. What he says is that charter schools are diverting money from regular public schools and that that is hurting the general public school population. He will put uh, those issues before lawmakers, uh, before the Senate Appropriations Committee, when that interim study is set for a hearing later in the summer, and they will work that out. Now, one last quick question. Uh, Public-private partnerships have resulted in a new foundation for the Wildlife Department. Fill us in on that. That's right. The Department of Wildlife Conservation has created a, a foundation to help support some of the work that it does. This will allow private donations to come into the foundation, which will then, then flow through to the commission to support its various programs and projects. E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome.